Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.7 and problem number 2.311. A solid right circular cone of altitude h is equal to 304.6 mm and radius of base r is equal to 76.2 mm has its center of gravity c on its geometric axis at a distance of h by 4 that is 76.2 mm above the base. This cone rests on an inclined plane AB which makes an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal for which the coefficient of friction is 0.5. A horizontal force P is applied to the vertex O of the cone and acts in the vertical plane of the figure as shown. Find the maximum and minimum values of P consistent with the equilibrium of the cone if the weight W is 44.5 newtons. That means it is a cone resting on this inclined plane which makes an angle 30 degrees. A horizontal force P is applied in this direction. What are the minimum and maximum values of P so that it maintains equilibrium? There are two possibilities for this moment. If P value is very small, then the cone will slide along this direction. If P value is very high, then this cone will try to tilt about this base B. Both we need to arrest. P should not be less and at the same time P should not be so high so that this tilting about point B should be avoided. So first we will consider that how to avoid this sliding. Then how to avoid this tilting. Then we will see how to avoid the tilting. Now let us consider the free body diagram. The various forces acting on the cone are of course the first force is the self weight P and then the applied force P. The force P is in the horizontal direction and here there is a normal reaction and since we are first we are assuming that this is about to slide in this direction. So there is a frictional force acts in the upward direction and let that force is 0.5 into n. There are four forces, one, two, three, four. Now let us transfer all those four forces onto separate xy plane for easy analysis. Weight is acting in the downward direction. P is the force acting in the horizontal direction and n is the normal reaction and then the frictional force 0.5 into n. Given that this surface makes an angle 30 degrees Hence, 0.5n, so this makes an angle 30 degrees to the horizontal and n makes an angle 30 with the vertical. So, this is 30 and this value is also equals to 30. Now, let us transfer, let us resolve these forces along x-axis and y-axis. Now, look at this w and p, both are acting along x-axis and y-axis, so you need not to resolve. So, 0.5n, so this force is along x-axis and y-axis you need to resolve and n force also we need to resolve like this. So, if you resolve that 0.5n, the horizontal component becomes 0.5n cos theta, vertical component becomes 0.5n sin theta. Similarly, n, if you resolve, cos 30 and this is n sin 30. The force is acting in this direction, n sin 30. Now, let us apply the equilibrium condition. Sigma fx is equal to 0. There are three forces, p plus 0.5 n cos 30 is equal to n sin 30. And then, simple after simplification, you will get p is equal to 0 0.067 n. n is the normal reaction. Next, sigma fy is equal to 0. Now there are three forces, two forces positive, one force is negative, hence W is equal to 0.5 n sin 30 plus n cos 30. So after simplification, you will get the value is known as 44.5 that is given. Hence, you can find n value 39.87. You can substitute back and you can find the p value which is minimum 2.67 newton. So minimum force that is required to avoid the slipping to avoid the slipping is 2.67 newtons. Now there is also an another possibility if the p value is very high, the p value is very high, then it may be tilt about this point. The total cone will try to tilt about this point. That is also to be avoided. To avoid that, we will take the moments about point B. If I want to take the moments about point B, I need to find the distances of this P and W from 
point b for that i will do some construction now y is the distance now look at this y is the distance of p from point b i would like to find this value y for that what i will do is let us take this distance this di let, let us say this distance is equal to x first i will consider this distance from the center of the cone to the point p this distance is equal to x and you know this angle is equal to 30 degrees now from the right angle triangle now look at this right angle triangle look at this right angle triangle so from this right angle triangle i can calculate the value of x so how i can calculate the value of x x is equal to h into cos 30 because this distance is given as h because this distance is given as h and this angle is 30 degrees hence the adjacent side x is equal to h cos 30 that is 263.79 newtons but what i want i want y not x so to find the value of y i will construct a small horizontal line here look at this a small horizontal line and also i can find an another right angle triangle here also find i can find a right angle triangle for which this angle is also equals to 30 degrees so i will take this distance is equal to z from this point to this point i will consider that distance is equal to z so by taking this right angle triangle i can find the value of z z is equal to r sin 30 because this angle is 30 this hypotenuse is r z is the opposite side hence z is equal to r sin 30 that is 38.1 now once you know the values of x and z i can easily find the value of y which is nothing but y is equal to x minus z that is 263.79 minus 38.1 which gives 265.69 that is the distance of p from point b similarly i would like to find the distance of this w from point b perpendicular distance now look at this that perpendicular distance is n look at this distance this distance is n i would like to find this distance also now look at this this is let i am assuming that this is m i will take this right angle triangle i will consider this right angle triangle okay this distance is m and you know this angle is 30 and this height is h by 4 this height is h by 4 so the triangle looks like this it is a vertical so vertical and this is inclined so this is m this is self weight w and this distance is h by 4 this distance is h by 4 and you know this angle is 30 degrees this is the triangle now from that i can find m is equal to h by 4 into tan 30 so which gives the value of 43.99 calculated this m value as 43.99 but what i want i want the value of n i want the value of n so to find the value of n once again i will construct a right angle triangle like this this is the right angle triangle i am constructing and you know this angle is 30 and this distance is equal to r plus m and this is your n okay so you can find n very easily n is equal to r plus m into cos 30 by considering this right angle triangle n is equal to r plus m cos 30 so from that i can find n value is 104.09 so i found out the distances from point b to weight that is n to p that is y hence i can take the moments about b. why i am taking moments about b just now we i have given explanation because there may be a possibility that this total cone will try to tilt about this point b that we need to avoid so to avoid that i consider sigma m b is equal to 0 p into y is equal to w into n p into y is equal to w into n p value is to be calculated y value is known w value is known n value is known so upon substituting you can find p is equal to 20.52 so the p should not be more than 20.52 and at the same time p should not be less than the p minimum.